Welcome back to Pirate Studios. Today we're going to check out AHM 5050 by Audio Assault. And I'm going to show you a few cool things about it and I'm going to directly copy the settings of my EVH 5150 to my orange V30 cab. And I'm going to let you hear the direct difference. Well, let's get into it. First, we're going to open up the amp, and I like to open up the VST3, that's just me. So this comes with both the 6L6 version and the EL34 version, and it will let you blend the amps however much you want. Now, I don't have the 6L6, my buddy Andy has the 6L6, the exact same wattage and everything. And um, I thought, when I, I, I really did some big comparisons when I did before I bought mine, and the difference between the two that I heard was that the EL34 was a little bit rounder in the low, in the, in the, in the low end. Um, other than that, it sounded exactly the same. So. I went with it, and I think the gold looks cooler anyway. <laughs> the black and gold looks cool. So we're gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over. So, and this is on lead. And so this, this, this amp comes with a tuner. A few of the audio assault uh, amps come with tuners. And then it's got a pre, preamp uh, uh, pedal section. Um, it's got a gate. The gate is awesome, and it's got this boost pedal, EQ boost, and then it's got a drive pedal. Now, you're going to hear, I can tell you right now that I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the EQ and I'm going to move it to the exact um, EQ settings as the red channel on my amp. Um, and I can tell you, the last thing I'm going to do is let you hear the the, um, the real amp versus the plug-in. And I'm going to go back and forth, and you're going to see on the screen which one is which. And I'm going to tell you right now that the amp doesn't have enough distortion without um, without the gain pedal without the overdrive pedal in front of it. The plug-in. It doesn't have as much distortion as my real amp does. Other than that, um, it, it sounds good. Does it sound the same? I don't think it does. But that doesn't mean the amp, that doesn't mean that this plug-in's bad. This is still a great sim. Great amp sim, especially for the price. So this is just kind of an experiment so you can so you can hear the difference yourself. Um, so first, let's let's just start off with the EQ. I got the gain probably about one o'clock. Yep, about one o'clock. I've got the bass, which is low on my amp. I got it up all the way. I've got the mid about one o'clock and the treble about one o'clock. And it looks like I've got my presence up at three o'clock. And the resonance, you can't see it. It's on the back of the head. I've got it up all the way. There's another thing is this this plug-in might be based off the 100 watt, and this is only a 50 watt head. So, master, I don't need to mess with that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. And this is about where I put it, where it needs to be. About right there. Now, cab. This um, amp comes with the EVH comes with all these EVH um, speaker that's the Mesa Boogie V30 and then the EVH I think they put uh, I don't I don't know if it's a green bag that they put in the EVH EVHs I had one before and I don't think it's a I don't think it's a um, a green back it's something else and then it comes with this um, AHM 5050 412 just the standard and it doesn't tell you what it is 
Now, what I'm going to do to make it as close as possible is I have bought C-Cab's Citrus Pack, which is orange, UK V30s. And what I'm going to do is 906. I'm assuming the 906 is the Sennheiser 906. And what I recorded with is the Sennheiser 609. And I'm, I did... Um, I did some reviews on the difference between the 609 and the 906. Not really hearing a whole lot of difference, but that's my ear. So, but hey, I don't have a 906. I have a 609. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to use the 906. We'll just do one for the speaker. And the After Effects, I'm not going to do anything to. Um, this amp comes with a whole bunch of presets also. Um, you can up the graphics. I've got OpenGL and input routing. You know, obviously you're not doing stereo, so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not going to go through the presets in this video. So this isn't really going to be a very long video. This is just going to um, show you the the difference between the plug-in and the amp. Like I said, so we got an orange V30 with a 609 Sennheiser. This, here's the settings for the lead channel, the red channel. And the resonance is up all the way. So I've equaled it as much as I could. I've matched it up as best as I can, just straight out of the box. Now, if you were better at EQ, unlike myself, you could probably tweak this plug in to make it sound just like the capture that I got. So here it is, the comparison. Um, there's, I didn't put any after EQ or any, obviously there's no compression. I wouldn't put compressing compression on guitars. They're already pretty compressed. So there's no after effects on anything. This is just raw, raw mic of my amp and quad tracked and quad track of the plug-in. Here it is.